pressing forward. For all intents and purposes, I'm going to face the camera. Your feet are a fist distance apart. Your tailbone is heavy and down. Your flexors are open. Your chest reaching for the side, your shoulders. The back of the neck is long. We inhale. And as we exhale, we nod the chin forward. Start rolling down through the chest, connect the abs, keep the pelvis still, engage hamstrings, and let your arms and head hang heavy as you reach for the floor. You're going to inhale, and you're going to exhale. Start connecting your abs, tucking your tailbone, rolling up through the spine, coming back up through the chest, back of the neck is long. We inhale, and exhale, turn to chest. Start rolling down, keep the pelvis still, palms face each other. We inhale at the bottom and we exhale, tuck the tailbone, step into your feet, keep that abdominal connection, roll up through the spine. We're going to do five, inhale for number three, exhale, chin to chest, roll down, keep your knees over your toes. Inhale and exhale, start back rolling up. Very good. Inhale at the top and exhale, nod your chin forward, down. Great. Okay, stay down for me, yeah? We're gonna, we first gonna stretch before we finish our last one. So you're gonna stretch your right leg, Straighten it and release and we stretch the left leg. Straighten the left leg and release. And we straighten the right leg again and we release and we straighten the left leg. Only as much as you can, I want the back as flat as possible and bend. We're going to straighten both legs just to where you can. And bend them and straighten them again. And bend. Let your arms and your head hang heavy. Back of the knees are soft. You're going to inhale. And you're going to exhale. Start rolling up. Tuck your tailbone. Step into your feet. Okay, we're going to. Take our arms, open them to the sides, lift them up, palms facing each other. And when you bring them down, you're going to lift your heels, connect your abs, tuck your tailbone, and you're on your toes. And take your arms up, lower your heels back to the mat. And exhale, lift the heels, bring the arms down to your sides. Keep tucking the tailbone and engaging the abs. Heels flat, we take our arms back up as we inhale. And we exhale, lifting the heels, keeping the tailbone tucked, keeping the abs in. And let's go for a last one. Heels down, arms up. Inhale, reach up. And exhale, bring your heels up, arms down. And lower your heels. We're going to inhale. And as we exhale, we nod our chin forward, start rolling down through your chest. Your arms are head hang heavy. At the bottom, we inhale, we engage our abdominals, and we walk forwards, one hand in the middle of your mat, second hand forward, left hand under the shoulders. Okay, tailbone is tucked. We are in a front support position. You're coming up through your shoulder blades. Lift your tailbone up to the ceiling. Knees can be bent, but I want you to be in a straight line. The whole back, tailbone reaching back and up. We hover the knees above the mat, dropping. Send your glutes over your knees. And we come back into a plank, front support, tucking the tailbone. Your eyes are in between your hands. Back of the neck is long. 
Pipe up, sending the glutes up to the ceiling, sitting bones reaching for the back wall and the ceiling. You can have a slight bend in your knees as long as you have a straight back. We bend the knees, we hover above the mat again, push away under the shoulder blades. This time you're going to send your glutes towards your heels. Knees are hovering and we're preparing to jump in between our hands. One, two, three, jump. And we sit down on our mat. Okay. I'm going to turn it on this way. Okay. I want your feet together. I want you to open them in a pizza slice. External rotation and then parallel again. So that you have a fist distance apart. And the knees are still and stable. We're connected. Your back is straight up through the abdominals, shoulders are wide, arms are straight. We're connected under the armpits, we inhale, and we exhale, keep this connection in your feet, tilt your pelvis slightly and pull your spine back. Shoulders stay where they are. And inhale, sit straight up again, coming up through the chest, through the crown of the head. And exhale, just tilt your pelvis slightly, pull your spine back. And inhale, up. And exhale, pull into your spine. And inhale, sit straight up. And exhale. Now we're going to lower, tilt the pelvis, round the spine. And we're just going to where the top of the hip bones hit the mat. We roll forward, keeping the knees still. And we bring the arms up. Shoulders out of the ears. And we inhale, tilt your pelvis, bring your arms down, round your back. And keeping that control, we exhale for two. And sit straight up. Bring the arms down, start tilting the pelvis, pulling the spine back for three. And exhale, coming up forwards, arms go up. Arms come down, you tilt the pelvis, pull those lower abs in, curl into the spine, and we come up. And our last one, with our last one, we're gonna go down and stay down. So bring your arms down, bring your heels closer to your glutes to prepare for a pelvic curl, and they are a hand away from your, from your sitting bones, and we roll all the way down, palms by your sides, facing down. Okay, you've got a connection between your feet and, and your, your hips. Your tailbone is hip, you've got a small gap between the mat and your back. Palms are down, shoulders are wide, chest is open, back of the neck is long and you're looking down your nose. You're going to inhale and you're going to exhale, tilt, pushing your lower back into the mat, using your abs, lift up with the, with the hamstrings and articulate through the spine. Inhale at the top, push the pubic bone up and exhale, start rolling down, keeping the knees still and stable at all times. Pelvis stays high. Tailbone is back to neutral, we inhale. We exhale, tilt, keep the knees still. Lift up, pull your knees over your toes and activate the inner thighs. Give me groin, inner thigh, inhale and exhale. Start narrowing the ribs, keep the pelvis high, keep the connection in the legs, and back to you. We inhale, exhale up for three, we're going for five. Pull your knees over your toes, inhale, and exhale, keep the pelvis high, start rolling down, keep the connection in the feet. We inhale, and exhale up for four. Knees over the toes. Inhale and exhale. Start rolling down, narrowing the ribs, keeping the pelvis high. And back down into neutral. We inhale. This is our last one and we're staying up. Exhale, tilt, lift. And we're staying up here. Give me a good glute connection, hamstrings, inner thighs up. We're going to lift our heels and we're going to lower them. 
and we lift them for two and lower three down four very good down and five place them down and we're going to pulse up towards the ceiling with our hips one two three four five inhale and exhale start rolling down keep the pelvis high lengthen the spine and place it back into neutral just grab your knees hug them to your chest for a second place your arms in a t and connecting your abs push into the mat take your legs back to tabletop Okay, we're squeezing the legs together, toes are pointed or lengthened, we inhale, move the legs over to the right, keeping the scapula on the mat, and exhale back to center. Inhale over to the left, and exhale back to center. Make sure that you keep pushing your back into the mat as you lift up with that hip, and exhale back to center. And inhale over to the left and exhale back. And we inhale over for three to the right. For your right and exhale back and to the left. Exhale back. Keep that control. Inhale over for four. Exhale back. And over to the left. Exhale back. Inhale over for five. Exhale back and to the left. Very good. Exhale back. You are going to interlace your fingers behind your head so that your head hangs heavy in, the, in your, in your um, hands and your elbows are on your peripheral vision. You're going to inhale. And you're going to exhale, lift up into a chest lift, scapula off the mat, connect your abdominals, and we lower the left leg towards the mat, and we exhale, lift it up, keeping that angle. Inhale, and exhale up for two. Inhale, exhale up for three. Keep that abdominal connection. Inhale, exhale up for four. And the last one on the left, exhale up for five. We change. Exhale up for one. Keep that stability. Exhale up for two. Keep the chest up. Exhale up for three. Down. Exhale up for four. Last one. And exhale up. Now we're going to switch. We're going to exhale. Inhale in the center. Exhale. And two, exhale. Three, exhale. Four, exhale. And five. Bring your knees together. Hug them to your chest for a second. Send your knees long, arms overhead. You're going to push your lower back into the mat, tilt your pelvis up and forward. Squeeze the legs together, ankles together. We inhale, lift arms. Head, then chest, and exhale. Using your abdominals, come up and over your thighs. Your eyes are about mid calf and your shoulders are pulled back out of your ears. Inhale. And exhale. Collapse that T-curve. Tilt your pelvis. Squeeze your legs and get into that lower back as you roll down. And bring your arms back overhead. And we inhale, lift arms, head, chest, exhale up. You're sitting in a, in a C curve, an upright C curve. Inhale and exhale. Start rolling down, tucking your pelvis, get into the lower back, squeeze the legs and down. And we inhale, lift arms, head, chest, exhale up. That's number three. We inhale. And we exhale, tilt your pelvis, pull your spine back, and start rolling down. Number four, we inhale, exhale, roll up. Very good. From here, 
We're going to take it very slow. We're going to roll down, tilt the pelvis, get into that lower back. And as soon as your pelvis almost hits, we open the left hand, keeping the chest straight forward, and we come back to center. Squeeze the legs together. We go over to the right, open the chest and the arm, and we come back. Keep pulling the abs in. We inhale and we exhale, go down all the way. We're preparing for our last one. We inhale, lift arms, head, chest, exhale, roll up, and just fold over. Give yourself a stretch. Okay, keep your left leg pointed. As we start rolling down, inhale, exhale. I want you to bend your right leg. Start opening your arms into a T and flex that foot hard up to the ceiling. I want you to get a good stretch into the shin, the quad and the back of the leg. We're going to inhale, move the foot towards you, down and around and exhale towards you and around. And inhale for two and exhale. Flex hard into that foot, inhale and exhale, the stabilizing leg is pointed, that glute is squeezed, the ab is connected, and exhale, and we change direction. Inhale for one, and exhale. Inhale for two, still less in the pelvis, exhale. Inhale for three, last one, and exhale. You're going to point, flex that foot, point it again, Bend it to your knee, uh, to your chest. You're going to take the opposite hand onto that knee and you're going to pull it away from your opposite arm, which is still in a T. Look at your arm so that you get a stretch to the side of your body. Okay, come back to center. Connect your abdominals. We're going to switch legs. Right leg goes down, left leg comes up in tabletop. And we point it up to the ceiling, flex hard. Bottom leg is pointed, that glute is squeezed. We inhale through the center and exhale. And inhale for two and exhale. Inhale for three, exhale. Inhale for four and exhale. We're gonna change. One, and exhale. Two, inhale, and exhale. Three, and exhale. You're gonna point, flex, point, bring it towards you. Put your knee in your opposite hand, pull it away from you, open your chest. And come back to center. Grab the back of your knees and just rock yourself up. Okay, we're grabbing the front of our shins. Tilt your pelvis so that you are balancing on your sacrum. You're looking down in between your legs. That's where the neck stays. It doesn't flop back. You're a tight little ball. You inhale, roll back. And exhale, come back up. And inhale for two, exhale up. Inhale three, exhale up. We go for four, and up. And five, and up. Very good. Place your feet down, scoot back with your sitting bones. Open them a mat distance apart. Toes are facing up. So you can bend your knees if you're not flexible enough. But I want those toes up and I want it straight back. That's important. So arms are parallel. We inhale. And we exhale. Upper back articulates. Then the middle back. And we stretch forward. Creating a straight line through the sitting bones. Inhale. Go a little bit more forward and exhale. We stack up. We inhale and we exhale upper, middle, lower. Reach forward. 
inhale, stretch a little further and exhale, connect the abs and come back up into sitting. Inhale and exhale, upper middle, forward for three. Inhale, stretch a little further and exhale, come back up into sitting. Inhale and exhale down for four. Keep that abdominal connection. Inhale and exhale. Come back up. Last one. Inhale and exhale. Upper, middle, down and forward. Very good. Inhale and exhale. Come back up slowly. I want you to point your toes, squeeze your legs together, arms are forward, sitting nice and straight, inhale and exhale, start rolling down, bend the knees as you come down, lift them up and we end up in a chest lift position. We're going to do the double leg stretch. So we're going to inhale, shoot out, keeping the abs connected and exhale, arms around and up and inhale. Exhale back in and inhale. Keep that ab connection. Exhale and inhale. Exhale. Two more. Inhale. Exhale. Work through the shoulders. Inhale and exhale. Both hands on one leg, other leg goes straight. Toes are in line. We exhale and two. And three, and four, and five. Hands behind the head, fingers interlaced. We rotate to the bent knee. And exhale one, and exhale two, and exhale three. Exhale four, it's a slow, small rotation. And last one, hug your knees to your chest for a second and we roll up. Okay, feet are that distance apart, toes are up. We're going to interlace the fingers behind the head, connect underneath the armpits and the lats for me. Your your elbows are in your peripheral. We're going to inhale and we're going to exhale, rotate through the center of the waist towards that foot. And one, two, double rotation, back to center for the inhale and exhale. And exhale to the left for two and exhale. Remember, keep the chest open. That's three, and to the right, and four. Pelvis still, still, stay still and stable. And back, last one, five, and to the right. Very good. Okay, we're going to lie on our left side. Palm is facing up. You're lining up with the back of your mat so that you're almost lying against an invisible wall. You've got some sunshine between your ribs and the mat. Hips are stuck and your feet are together. If you can, place your hand on top of your body. If not, in front is okay, but keep the chest open. And you can see your toes when you look down. So connect your abdominals, let your feet hover. And we exhale, lift them up using the oblique, the top oblique and lower. And exhale, lift and lower. And when you lift, you don't sink into the mat. Lift for three, keep those abdominals engaged. And down. And exhale, four. And down. Exhale, five. Keep the top leg there, drop the bottom leg. And exhale, one. And lower. Keep those abdominals engaged. Two. And lower. Three. Lower. Four. 
down and five. You're gonna circle the bottom leg forward for one, keeping the hips still and two, three, four, and five, and we're gonna circle it backwards. One, two, three, four, and five. Okay, we're gonna scissor the legs forwards and backwards. So one, and two, as we alternate, that's a set. Three, slow and controlled, keep that ab connection, four, this is a movement coming from the glutes and the hip. And five. Keep your legs separated and lift them. One, two, Ooh. three, four, and five. I want you to come up onto your elbow. Place it underneath your shoulder. Keep your legs separated. Back leg is back. So you're coming up through your chest. This hand goes behind your head, and you're going to kick this leg forward. Exhale, one, two, and in the center, you point, take it back. Inhale, two, and exhale, flex, one, two, and point back, one, two, and forward for three, back. Keep lifting up through the obliques, back. And five, hips stay still, back. And you're gonna bring that, you're gonna keep that leg back for me. You're gonna bring your arm forward, come up through the chest, and we point that toe lower and lift. And two, so the back leg lifts. Three, four, and five. Circle it forwards, one. Come up through the chest, two. It's an abdominal connection, three, four, and five. Circle it back, one, two, three, four, and five. Okay, just take this foot, place it in front of your, your other knee or hip, and just push away out of it to get a stretch into this glute. Okay, we are going to stand in a four-point kneeling position, close to the front of our mat. Knees are bent, 90 degrees to the hips, and we've got a straight line following through. You're pushing up between your shoulder blades, looking in between your hands. We're going to inhale to prepare, and as we exhale, we pull our spine up, tilt our pelvis, tuck it, and your gaze is between your hands, the back of your hands. And we inhale, straighten the tailbone, lengthen through the spine, and we come up through the chest, head looks a little bit in front of your mat. And we exhale, tilt the pelvis, pull the spine up, and you're looking in between your hands. And we inhale, Take your pelvis back, straighten through the spine, and connect your lats, pull up through your chest, and exhale for three, tuck the tailbone around the spine. This is abdominal control. And lengthen the tailbone, lengthen the spine, come up through the chest, and look forward. And keeping that lat connection, we go for four, it's a good stretch. We reach forward through the chest again as we inhale. And for our last one, we're gonna tuck, 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 pull up, and we're just gonna push back into a rest position. Keep your legs together for me. Take your left hand, put it through your right, your right shoulder at the bottom, and just Stretch through, see how far you can grab. We come back to center, and we take the right hand through the left arm, 
Great, great. And we come back to center. You're gonna push away from the mat firmly in between the shoulder blades. You're gonna get a good abdominal connection. You're gonna tuck and you're gonna step into your right foot and then into your left foot. Okay. We're gonna take the right foot off the mat, point the toe, slide it in towards our chest up to 90 degrees and take it back, place it down. The pelvis stays still, it doesn't drop. And inhale, exhale back. And inhale for two, exhale back. Three, back, keep that tuck in the pelvis. Back, and four. Bring it to the chest, back, that's our last set. And in, and back. Just back up for me. Get a stretch in the shoulders. And we come down into a plank. We're going to lift the right foot, point the toe, and lift it up. One, two, abs are connected. Three, this is glute and hip. Four, five, place it down. Left foot, point and up. One, two, three, four, and five. Place it down. Place your knees down. Sit in a rest position. Okay, we come back up. You're going to lie onto your right side, palm facing up. Make sure you've got sunshine between your mat and the ribs and that you lined up with the back of your mat. You can see your toes when you look down. Top shoulder is open and we're hovering above the mat as we connect our abdominals. Hips are stacked, we lift for one and down. Two, and three, ankle bone to ankle bone. Don't use the legs to lift, use the obliques. And four, and five. Keep that top leg there, drop the bottom one. Exhale, one, lift it. And two, three, four, and five. Circle it forwards, one. Two, three, four, and five. And we change direction. One, two, three, four, and five. Very good. We're going to scissor them open, keeping the hips still and stable. And we alternate. And two. Keep pointing the toes, lengthening through the feet. Three. Keep the obliques connected. Four. Alternate. And five. And we lift them using the obliques. One. Two. Three. Four. And five. Very good. We place them down. We're coming up onto the elbow, lifting up through the chest. Make sure that you are in line. The bottom foot can be straight. You can bend it a sli slightly too if you want. Lift the top foot up. You're going to flex. Bring it forward, one. And take it back. Point the toe. Inhale for two. And exhale forward. And inhale back. And exhale forward. And inhale back, and four, and back. Hips stay still, and last one, and back. You're going to place your arm down. You're going to reach forward. That top leg is backed. You're gonna lift, drop it, and lift it for one. And two, coming up through the chest, three, Four, make sure your hips are still stacked. Four and five. We're going to circle it forwards. One, two, three, four, and five. And backwards. One, 
two, three, four, and five. Very good. Bring your foot in towards, towards your hip and just push out of that hip away from the foot. Okay. Great. You're going to swing around. You're going to lie more or less at the bottom of your mat. If you cannot do a rollover, because we're doing rollovers, if you can't do a rollover, please do pelvic curls. Um, also, don't look at the screen. Don't turn your neck when your legs are overhead, please. I don't want any spinal injuries. Okay. So we're lying on our backs. Palms are down. Back of the neck is long. You're looking down your nose. You're engaging your abdominals, push into the mat. Lift your right leg, tabletop, left leg, tabletop. You're going to shift them to 60, straighten them to 60. Inhale, move them to 90. Exhale, roll up and over, lifting up out of the chest. Flex your feet. Inhale, separate. Touch if you can. And start rolling down, connecting through the ribs. Push into your heels, into your quads. Point your toes as your pelvis hit and circle back to 60. And inhale to 90. Exhale up and over using your abs. Keep the shoulders open. Inhale, flex, open, touch, lift. And slowly start rolling down with control. Step into your heels. Keep your shoulders open. Point and circle. Inhale, exhale, up and over for three. Flex, open, touch, lift up, and start rolling down with control. Very good, we've got two to go. Inhale, exhale, up and over. Flex, open, touch if you can, lift up, and start rolling down. Point your toes, circle. And last one, inhale and exhale, up and over. Flex, open, touch if you can, lift and start rolling down. You're going to come up with your chest as you roll down. Lift your arms, circle and point your toes to 60 and we're doing hundreds. We inhale, two, three, four, five, exhale, two, three, four, Five. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Keep going. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Last one. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Hug your knees into your chest. Okay, relax your head, shoulders, neck. Open your arms in a T. Squeeze your legs together. Inhale for me. And exhale, roll all the way down to the side. Your scapula can lift off the mat, it's okay. Get a nice stretch in from the top of that arm into the hip, through the obliques. Okay, connect your abdominals, connect your legs. And we inhale and we exhale, start rotating them back to center. You inhale and exhale, rotate them back over to the other side. Lift your scapula, get a nice stretch. Inhale here. Yeah. And exhale, connect your abs, connect your legs, come back to center. Okay. I want you to take your hands, interlace your fingers behind your head. You're going to inhale and you're going to exhale, come up into your chest lift. You're going to take your legs up straight to the ceiling, point your toes. And we're going to walk down foot by foot. So one, two, three, four, five and we're going to come back one two three four five to ninety keep the abs engaged one two we walk down three four 
Five, only as low as where you can go. Don't let your back pop off the mat. And up, one, two, three, four, five. And we go down again. One, two, three, four, five. And we come back up. One, two, three, four, five. And we go down for a last one. One, two, three, four, five. And we come back up. One, two, three, four, and five. Very good. Let's grab the back of your knees or grab the top of your knees. Tuck into your chest. Okay, arms in a T. Take your legs up to the ceiling. Squeeze them together, your toes stay in line. You're gonna shift your whole waist and toes over to the right. Lifting up through that hip. Then you're gonna keep pushing into the mat with your lower back as you circle your legs down and around, keeping that abdominal connection and coming back to center as if you're drawing a D in the air. And we go back to the opposite side, down and around and we lift the legs up. So we're using lower abdominals. And to the opposite side again, down, and back to center. And inhale over, exhale down and around, and back. One on each side, more. Over to the right, down and around, and back. Keep lengthening through the chest, last one. And exhale, circle, and back to center. Great work. Grab your knees to your chest, rock up. Okay. We're going to sit with our top foot in front of our bottom foot. Our knees are together, so you're just shifting them over like a mermaid. Your bottom foot is in line with your glute and your hand is in line with, with all, all of them. You're lengthening through the chest, push up away from the mat. We're going to inhale, lift up. We're going to exhale, bend over towards your hand that's supporting you. Keep the shoulder out of your ear, come back to center in a straight line, and inhale down, and exhale up. Inhale over, exhale back to center, and inhale down. Keep the knees connected. Exhale up for three, inhale over, exhale back, and inhale down. And exhale up for four. Bend into that side, come back to the center, and inhale down, last one, exhale up, inhale over, exhale, and inhale down. Very good work. We're gonna swing over to the right side. Knees stay together, glue together. Okay, top, top foot is down, bottom foot behind. Push away, we exhale, we inhale over, exhale back, and we inhale down. And exhale, inhale up and over, exhale, and inhale down. And we come up and down in a straight line, inhale, exhale over, inhale, and exhale down. And inhale, we're gonna do two more. Exhale over, inhale, and exhale down. Last one, inhale, exhale over, inhale, and exhale down. Very good work. Okay, we're going to lie on our stomachs. We're going to interlace the fingers underneath our head. You're going to push your pubic bone into the floor. And you're going to lift your feet up. They are a hip distance apart. Your forehead is on your, on your hands. 
You're going to put your feet in external rotation and you're going to froggy them in towards you and kick them back out. And froggy them in and kick them out. Keeping that rotation, keep squeezing the feet together and in and out. And in for four, out. And last one, in and out. Very good. Separate your feet. You're going to exhale, lift them and lower. And exhale, lift your legs and your feet and lower. And exhale, lift for three, lower. Exhale, lift for four. And exhale, lift for five. Very good. Place them down, hip distance apart. You're going to bring your hands down and around, facing your inside seams. You're looking down at your mat, you're hovering with your head above the mat, chin is tucked, and your glutes and your feet and your legs are relaxed. You're going to inhale, draw a line with your nose where your forehead was, lengthen up through the chest, upper back, reach for your feet, and exhale, start lowering down, first your chest, then your head. And inhale, draw a line. Lift up through the back muscles, the upper back. Reach for the feet. And exhale. Start rolling down. And inhale, come up for three. Keep the glutes and feet relaxed in the legs. And exhale, up, down. And inhale, up for four. Very good, keep reaching for those feet. And exhale down. And the last one, inhale up. Keep reaching for your feet, connect under the armpits, lift up and exhale down. Place your hands underneath your shoulders. Feet and legs stay where they are. You're going to lift up with your nose, forehead, and then your upper body. Push into the mat, keep contact with your elbows at the mat for as so long as you can, and then come up, pushing through the chest, open the chest, and now as you go down, I want you to start engaging your glutes and lifting your feet, so that you're a boat. Look down at the mat, squeeze those glutes, and inhale, lift and lengthen up through the chest. Push up through the elbows, push the pubic bone into the mat, and we go down again, lift the feet and the legs. You're a boat. And inhale. Come up, push up, 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 up. And exhale down. Keep pulling your shoulders down into your chest. And inhale up for four. Good. And exhale down. And the last one, inhale up for five. Push away, push away. Keep the shoulders down. And we go down, lifting the feet. Now I want you to push into a rest position, bend your knees, squeeze them together, ankle bone to ankle bone. Walk your hands over to the right, glutes over to the left. And we swap to the other side. Come back to center. Okay, you are going to tuck your toes underneath you, hands are under your, under your shoulders. You're at the back end of your mat because we're gonna stand up. So you're gonna push away with your knees, walk back towards your hands, Okay, so we're going to roll down and we're going to walk with our feet forward, roll up, come down and walk back. We're going to do about four of them. So your feet are first distance apart, back of the knees are soft, tailbone is down, chest is open and you're lengthening through the back of your neck. Inhale and exhale, chin to chest, 
Roll down, keep the pelvis still and stable. You're going to place your left hand in the center of your mat, then your right hand at the top right, and then your left hand top left. You're going to come into a plank position. Push away from the shoulders. And you're going to start walking your feet in with straight legs towards your upper body. Start lifting your hands until they close to your hands and your fist distance apart. Inhale and exhale. Tuck your tailbone. Roll up through the spine. Band tall. Inhale. And exhale. Chin to chest. Keep the tailbone still. Keep the pelvis still. Roll down. Hands go under your shoulders. You're going to Knees are slightly bent. You're going to walk back with your feet into a plank. And you're going to walk your hands back to your feet. You're going to inhale. You're going to exhale. Tuck your tailbone. Roll up through your spine. Keeping your knees over your toes. Chest is open. Inhale. And exhale. Chin to chest. Roll down. Keeping the pelvis engaged. Hamstrings engaged. Roll down. Walk forward. One, two, three. And you're going to walk your feet back with the straight legs. Well, as straight as you can. Place them behind your hands. Inhale. And exhale. Slowly come up. We inhale. And we exhale. Chin to chest. Roll down. Keeping the pelvis still and stable. And we're placing our hands down. Bend your knees slightly and walk back into a plank. And then walk back towards your feet. Inhale and exhale, roll up. Okay, we're going down. We're gonna do some push-ups. We're gonna do about three push-ups. Inhale and exhale. So rolling down your spine. Gonna walk forward, one, two, three. You're gonna push away between your scapula and you're gonna tuck your elbows down towards the mat. Come back up. We go for two. Come back up, only as far as you can. Three. Come back up. Pike up, walk your hands back. One, two, three. Inhale and exhale, keeping the knee still and stable. Pelvis still, roll up. Inhale and exhale, chin to chest, roll down. Keep the pelvis still. We're gonna walk forward for an X push up set. Push away between the shoulders, hands are underneath the shoulders, pelvis is tucked. Tuck your elbows, one. Inhale, two. And exhale, three. Walk your hands back. One, two, three. Inhale. And exhale, slowly roll up. You're gonna do the last one, inhale. And exhale, chin to chest, roll down. Walking forward, one, two, three. Inhale, go down, exhale up, two, and three. Pike up, start walking back, one, two, three. We're gonna inhale, and we're gonna exhale, tuck the tailbone, and roll back up. You're going to shake your shoulders out, shake your arms out. We're going to inhale, lift the arms up, feet are hip distance apart. We're going to exhale, come down with your arms and up. Inhale, reach up and back, and exhale. And the last one, inhale, and exhale. And thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed the class. Thanks, Vivian. <laughs>